Hey everybody, we took a look at One Deck Dungeon a while back in its early access mode, but now it's been launched both on Steam as well as mobile devices. So let's take a look at this uh, game from Asmadi and Handelabra. In One Deck Dungeon, you select a hero. There are five to choose from in this uh, version of the game. And then you select a boss that you want to go after. You can also set up hero progression so that you can continue to um, carry your hero, the same hero from game to game and that hero will grow as you progress. Or you can uh, just go with the basic progression and just do kind of a one-off through one of the dungeons. If you enjoy rolling tons of dice, One Deck Dungeon is definitely the game for you and I quite love it. In the game, you have different abilities which are going to give you different types of dice to roll and when you roll these dice you're going to be assigning them on the monsters to defeat them so there's uh, a lot of strategy here and different skills you can use to help you make the most of the dice that you have so in this case for example to defeat the fade we need uh, first 10 uh, pink dice and then uh, certain yellow dice and certain blue dice you also have black dice which can be used wild on anything so it really has some from strategies where you can try and combine different dice or use different skills to get what you need to defeat uh, the enemies that are before you. If you can't fill every square, you will take some negative effects from the ones that you can't complete. Um, but as long as you don't die in the encounter, you will be able to receive loot from that monster and you can uh, choose to use it as experience, uh, increase the number of dice that you roll or a new skill or potion. After completing three stages of the dungeon, you'll face off against the boss. The boss plays very similarly, except that on the right hand side, there are special squares that can only be filled with sixes of the appropriate color. And these will um, do damage to the boss. So for this first boss, the dragon, you need to do six damage. And you also have to make sure to cover up these uh, other squares to make sure you're not taking huge amounts of damage while you're trying to do this. So it's very much about balancing and trying to uh, defeat these bosses before they get the best of you. I was really impressed when I was able to play One Deck Dungeon on the tabletop. I love rolling all the dice and just uh, the tactile experience of it. But I think Handelabra has really done a great job of capturing that here, especially now that it's on uh, my iPad. I have the ability to roll those dice to drag and drop things to where they go. It all seems very fluid and really um, opens up this game to a lot of repeated play which I think it really benefits from. It's a fun solo game, it's a fun game to dive into and something that you can really uh, have a great solo experience on without needing to set up anything on your table. There's really quite a bit of content featured here and the game does have a physical expansion so hopefully we'll see that soon. Um, but yeah there's definitely a lot going on here and a lot uh, to recommend. It, it really is a great you know, playing game, solo game, just kind of trying to pass some time and a, a bit brain burnery to help you have some really crunchy choices without being, uh, you know, a long multiplayer or involved Euro experience. I've really enjoyed my time with One Deck Dungeon and think you should definitely check it out. It really is a fun and polished digital board game. And if you love little crunchy dungeon crawlers, this is going to be a great uh, way to pass the time. So be sure to check out One Deck Dungeon.